Hello, welcome back to English at University, the series that follows Mary through her first year of study abroad and teaches her and us some useful phrases. It's the second term, and students at the University of Studies settle down to some hard work. Mary's in a lecture, struggling to write down everything that Professor Knott is trying to say. So this term, we're doing the module on marketing. Business and marketing go hand in hand. Any business in a marketplace is likely to be in competition with other firms offering similar products.、Uh, excuse me, Professor. Could you say that again, please? I said any business in a marketplace. No, the bit before that, please. You're going a bit too fast for me. Having trouble, Mary? Yes, I'm trying to write down everything he says, but I can't keep up. You can't write everything down. You need to take notes. Notes? Just note down words, phrases, bits of information from the lecture, things that will help you remember what's been said. Ask for help if you're not sure what to do. Yes, I think I will. <clears throat> um, Professor, sorry to interrupt again. What you're saying is fascinating, but I want to remember it all. Have you any guidance about how to take notes? Oh, thank you, Mary. Fascinating, eh? Well,、uh, well, just use a pen and a notebook. But what should I write down? I think you need one of these—a voice recorder. Just record the whole thing. Listen back to it later. Easy. Is it? Well, writing things down is probably more useful. It gives you a chance to ask for clarification. Now, Mary, just jot down the important bits. I'll emphasise these bits in the lecture. I'll say something like, "This bit is useful to know." You won't need to write much then. What? It was a joke.、Mm, yes. Well, <clears throat> now write down what I say in your own words. Although, if I quote someone, make sure you write it down word for word. And use words, abbreviations, symbols, or even pictures to summarize what I say. If you miss something, leave a gap in your notes and get the information from me later. Does that help? Perfectly. Remember to read through your notes after the lecture. And of course, anything you do miss, you can find in my new book, Funny Business. That's been a useful lesson, hasn't it, Mary? Note taking is an important skill to learn. If you're not sure where to start, ask for help using these phrases. Could you say that again, please? You're going a bit too fast for me. Have you any guidance about how to take notes? And here's Professor Knott's tips for taking notes. Write down the important bits. I'll emphasise these bits in the lecture. Write down what I say in your own words. Although if I quote someone, make sure you write it down word for word. Use words, abbreviations, symbols, or even pictures to summarize what I say. If you miss something, leave a gap in your notes and get the information from me later. Remember to read through your notes after the lecture. You can pick up a few more top tips for studying in the UK on our website at bbclearningenglish.com. Now let's find out how the note taking is going. So that's all for today, Mustache. I've got a yoga class to go to. We can discuss this further in your tutorial. Oh no! I don't believe it. Problem, Daniel? The batteries on my voice recorder have run out.、Oh, so annoying. I don't suppose.、Uh... Yes, you can copy my notes. Great. And、uh, maybe I could buy you a drink to say thank you. Maybe, Daniel. إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة.